Hello everyone and welcome to the Vortex, where lies and falsehoods are trapped and exposed. I'm Michael Voris. Well, it's almost Christmas and so many people have no idea what it's about. Christmas is about hell. We humans, as a matter of nature, our fallen natures, have hell as our default. Because of original sin and our daily choices, we naturally tend toward damnation. We are inclined toward that which is evil. We have a sense of the good, an echo within us of what our Creator wants for us, but we struggle against that and ignore it and bury it. It only comes to the surface, to the forefront of our minds every now and then, like at funerals or wakes. But it is a sense of the good. It is not actual good. We are hardwired for hell. Our wiring has become faulty, but nonetheless, that is the bottom line. Our nature now is rooted in rebellion and self-destruction. The Incarnation, God taking on human flesh, does not change that. Not when He became present in the womb of the Blessed Mother. Not when He was born in Bethlehem. Not when He walked around on earth. Not when He died on the cross. Not when He rose from the dead. Our fallen human nature remains fallen. The glory of the Incarnation is that we no longer have to remain excluded from heaven. There is now hope, divine hope, and that is what we celebrate at Christmas. But the joy of Christmas is obscured in a world that does not recognize the enormity of sin. How can the race celebrate its hope if it doesn't understand the miserable state from which we are able to be saved? Most people today seem to walk around assuming that heaven is their end. You see this and you hear this at funerals and wakes and when people speak of their dearly departed. It's like hell was created for Hitler and Satan and every other creature gets a pass. That attitude is not only wrong, it totally effaces the joy and the hope of Christmas. As our understanding of sin diminishes, our ability to be joyful correspondingly diminishes. For so many people, Christmas is like handing a key to a prisoner who has no idea that he's actually in jail. Mankind is in quicksand. It is our natural state. Sin does this to us, and it is impossible to lift yourself out of quicksand. You inevitably sink and die. Someone not in the pit has to reach down to you, and then you have to grab on and keep holding on as you are pulled out. Without God, without Christ, salvation is not possible. Hell is the automatic default for every human. In short, we are each hell-bound by our nature. God's desire is for us to be saved, but our hardwiring is now faulty and we are programmed for hell. This news came as a shocking lightning bolt of a revelation for the apostles, who at one point turned around to our Lord and said, Then who can be saved? His answer, For man, it is impossible. The race is marching on a steady drumbeat right into hell. The joy of Christmas is that, that that does not have to be automatic. Our faulty wiring can be short-circuited and reprogrammed. We can be rebooted, so to speak. A hand has been extended to us as we sink into the quicksand. All we need to do now is grab on. But if people have no idea they are slowly sinking, they have no sense that they need to grab on. Most people seem to live lives as though they are walking around the pit and should be careful not to fall in it. They have it completely wrong. They, we, are already in the pit and need to be lifted out. We need to be honest with ourselves about our nature and then look around for the hand of God, plunged through the darkness and the mire of our choices, and grab hold and never let go. The joy of Christmas is that hell is no longer inevitable. It does not have to be our destiny. God has come among us in the flesh to save us. This is why he's called the Savior. This is why we give gifts at Christmas, in weak imitation of this divine gift. Christmas and hell, they have everything to do with each other. This is the message that the church must and will proclaim until the second coming of our blessed Lord. Lay hold of the salvation being offered you. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Do not shield your eyes from that light. God bless you. I'm Michael Voris. Please help us keep delivering these kinds of messages that so desperately need to be heard and acted on. Join RealCatholicTV.com today as a premium subscriber. Become immersed in the faith established by Jesus Christ. 
The Catholic Church is the only hope against evil because that is its God-given mission. As our Lord said, apart from me, you can do nothing. Join RealCatholicTV.com today as a premium subscriber and come to learn and love Christ more deeply.